Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. So we're going to talk about my day at the elementary school and how it relates to your narcissist. Helps us understand the thought process of our narcissist because we see a grown person. And it's hard to understand when they're so intellectual sometimes, sometimes brilliant, how it relates to them being emotionally childlike. So if anything I say today kind of resonates with how your narcissist acts, it might kind of uh, cement the thought that narcissists are in a childlike state. So I'm going to talk about my day. I had uh, my first class. I teach art now. And um, they were pretty disruptive. And so we had to line up again to get them to settle down. I told them to silently find a chair. And, you know, when I'm out in the hallway, they're walking so the line can come in and they go sit down. They're disruptive. They don't, they hear what they're supposed to do and they don't do it. And so we had to redo it again. So I told them that, you know, I need to be able to maintain classroom management and I had a special treat for them. I was going to take them out today. We were going to do like shadow pictures and they have to follow the rules. And until they follow the rules. So as I'm telling them that I wanted to take them outside, that I wanted to do certain things with them, but I have to have them follow directions. They're still talking. There's still some of them are turned around, talking to each other, uh, touching each other. Finally get them settled down and I bring them into the classroom. So they're still kind of acting out, but a little bit better. They finally settle down, but they're only settled down because they want to go outside. So they're doing their best. For the privilege, just like our narcissists, they're going to act somewhat okay if they want a favor, if they want sex, or if they want us to drive them somewhere, or they want us to help pay a bill. Whatever it is that they want, they'll settle down. So even though with those kids, I told them, I'm not going to take you outside. They're still trying their best. So like with our narcissists, we're like, look, I told you it's over. You cheated on me. That was a deal breaker or whatever your deal breaker is. Some of you got discarded. We'll talk a little bit about that. But if you left, um, the narcissist still tries. And it's like, even if they told you. So how does this relate to the emotional state of the narcissist? The kids, they act out. You talk directly to them. Um, they know that I'll always let them go to the bathroom. All they have to do is raise their hand. They don't follow the simple directions. They don't commit that to memory. They just shout out. Just like our narcissists, if we're like, look, this is how, how to run things smoothly in our relationship. We have our boundaries, just like I have my rules in the classroom. Uh, they, don't, they don't commit it to memory, just like the, the kids don't. Um, it takes a while, but some of them learn quickly. Some of them don't. But they just think about themselves. I want to go to the bathroom. I'm bored. I want to go to the bathroom. I had to pee, whatever the reason is. Um, or they'll just go and, and start walking out the classroom and you have to like call them back. And it's easy. All you have to do is raise your hand and you can go. Uh, I just need to know. The narcissist um, is often grandiose. They're funny. Think about your class clowns. Why do they act out? They want attention. So they're going to be silly. So everybody laughs. Everybody looks at them. That's why narcissists, they can be really funny uh, or boisterous. The um, kids love to show off, uh, you know, new clothes or new shoes. And I do it too. Uh, we all do. But the narcissist uh, sees their image as often. Their clothes, their hairstyle, their makeup, their trends, their car, something outside of them. So as adults, it's okay to say, look, I got a new dress. What do you think? But it's different than having that as your identity. And narcissists often, you know, um, are into their image. I, uh, they can be either really clean or really messy. Um, there are variations because there's variations on how narcissistic somebody will be. But like the kids throwing crayons today, I have one kid who just kept getting out of his seat and kept like just doing whatever with the crayons. There's crayons all over the place. Uh, you know, um, that wasn't an angry fit. It's like a boredom. It made a big mess. The narcissist, when they're bored, will make a big mess out of the relationship. They'll just do stupid stuff. Stupid.
you know, um, purposely, they purposely do things sometimes, or some of the things that they do, they don't think of the outcome. Um, you know, something uh, that that could really embarrass you uh, at, at work or, or things like that. The silly little practical jokes that they do. Um, the lies that they tell to where you don't know which end is up. That's the crazy making. And it can be over little things. They're just being silly. My neighbors, I told you about my narcissistic neighbors. It's in a joking way. They're not trying to hurt me. And they're not trying to be jerks to me. But, you know, uh, they say a lot of things I'm like, I don't even know if it's true or not because they continue it. Me, if I say something, sometimes we all get sarcastic, but I'll be like, I'm joking. You know, like, oh, I just won Miss America. Just joking. But I don't carry it out or 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 let you believe it. Because um, they had said next door that their two cats like followed one across the street, one, the human across the street, and both of them got killed by a car. And I'm like, like, what? And he's like, yeah, and continues on with the story. And I'm feeling bad. And um, you find out later when you see the two cats walking through the neighborhood that he was totally lying. So, you know, they they took energy from you. Like, you feel sorry for them. Um, you know, I didn't. But sometimes we give gifts for things like that or made a meal or, I mean, it's cats. But some people do that, you know. Uh, my best friend, like, with how much she loves her animals you probably need to do that other people aren't as attached but the children will pay attention until you turn your back until they think that they can get away with things that's what the narcissist does that's when they go off and cheat or do whatever it is spend money that they're not supposed to spend if they think they you, they won't get caught um, just like the kids, you know, uh, they, they cry when they got caught. It's not because they feel bad about what they did. A lot of times too, they're like, all I was doing was this, uh, or they're, they're breaking things. They're breaking crayons. They don't know why they're doing narcissists. They'll, they'll break things on purpose because they're pissed or sometimes they're just bored or they're, they're trying to get a rise out of you. They hide things to get a rise out of you, just like kids do. You know, just like the kids that they put something on your back, you know, kick me or whatever. They think it's funny. So the narcissist will do things at your cost, just like that kid walking around with a sticker on his back saying, kick me. It's at that kid's expense. Everybody's laughing. And the narcissist, you're the closest to them. Why not make up stories about you? Why not have you as a scapegoat? There's a usually a scapegoat with the narcissist and if you think about it if you're in a romantic relationship that's the closest person to them the one that sticks uh by them if you notice too with uh kids um they play the parents you know uh, mom can i go to the beach with my friend uh they'll they'll if they get a no sometimes they still ask dad so dad will talk mom into it or whatever the dynamics of the family are but sometimes they'll triangulate and you know dad mom said i could go to the beach oh okay mom dad said i could go to the beach and and, and they play it some of them calculate it and ask in reverse order so when mom and dad meet up they're like did he ask you yeah he it's triangulation um it's manipulation tactics that are learned in childhood and the children learn it to get what they want uh, because they learn they don't always get what they want. So you have to be really careful when you're parenting to see through some of these things. Kids with their body language, um, you can often tell who's lying, but they get better as they get older. Their manipulation tactics get better as they get older. We're supposed to give them more freedom as they get older. So we don't know the true story as they get older. We're like, okay, they've been good. I'll let them go to the mall with their friends. You it turns out they're doing something different because we thought we trusted them. They had the freedom. They took advantage of it. Just like a narcissist, they're still in that childlike state. Their actions prove it. You know, nobody's perfect. Some of us have done some things like that. And so that's part of the reason why we're like, am I the narcissist? Are they the narcissist? You know, uh, it, it gets really confusing, you know, because we try 
to see like why did I do what I did there were was one time I canceled with my friend and I told him a story and why do we do it we didn't want to hurt their feelings um you know th sometimes it seems kind-hearted but we gotta be careful with that because even kind-hearted lies can be devastating sounds weird but sometimes they can um there are some I'm never going to tell you, you know, my kids in the closet, go ahead and murder her. I know you just broke into my house. There are some it's like, I'm not coming up off that lie. I don't care if there's repercussions um, that somebody went, you know, late to work because I lied. There are times for life or death situations, definitely lie to preserve a life. Uh, you with your religion, if, if, if that's against what you believe, comment below. I'm open to it. I'm a Christian and you know, uh, we're not supposed to lie. And sometimes we struggle with that too. You know, uh, what is the right thing to do? What is the right thing? You know, um, mitigating circumstances. Are there mitigating circumstances? So the children don't think about mitigating circumstances. They just act out. The narcissist, you know, they cheat. They don't think they're going to get caught. They don't think what's going to happen if I do? They most of the time have a game plan on what to say. They'll calculate things. Um, you know, you see some, they'll go get receipts at, uh, you know, I don't know, um, a restaurant or whatever. And they do a and not even, I don't know, just they order it and pay for it and don't even eat there or they just have it on their credit card um, just to prove that they're or go to the gas station to prove that they're in a certain area and then they go to a different area and then either get a second gas receipt. But be careful on things like that where they save those kind of things. I don't ever say, oh, let me get my receipt so I can show you. Um, that can be a red flag too sometimes, unless it's their pattern. Sometimes they need that for work. Check out patterns too. Are they acting out of character? People are creatures of habit. So if they never save a receipt, all of a sudden that Friday night when you were out of town, now they have all these receipts. It could be a warning sign. So it was interesting to see how well the kids behaved until they found out I'm really not taking you outside and it sets in and then they're pissed off. They're acting out again. If their manipulation patterns, tactics don't work, they give up. And then the narcissist, they're going to try again. You know, they're going to try again. I noticed too, I gave out suckers um, for some of the kids that were on task. I gave everyone one the first day. And then as kids are on task, I give them certain rewards. And so you see the kids like being good and they are like, are you giving out suckers? And then if, if you tell them no, or I already gave out three today or whatever it is, then they give up like, oh, why bother anymore? So the more I'm in the schools, the more you can see the lies, the manipulation, trying to get to that calm down corner, the acting out, the not listening to what the rules are or how to behave, uh, even telling them you're going to get your way. We're going to get to go outside. And they're like, okay, cool. All they hear is we're going to go outside. They don't hear that when you act right, we'll go outside. They hear we're going outside. The narcissist is like that. You know, uh, if we go to counseling, we can get back together. They hear we're going to get back together. They're like, uh, if we go to counseling. Um, so they might take in 10% of that. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go to counseling. Oh, we'll set it up, whatever. And then when it comes down to it, if they go once, they might go once. If they continue on, they're going to blame you. They're not going to take accountability. It's a mess dealing with narcissists it's like dealing with a child and you know um there are times you know you kind of interact with your students like a friend you sit there and play on the playground with them or you color with them or connect with them um things can go pretty easy then just like with our narcissists it's pretty nice we're playing around having fun but when it's time crunch uh, you know, cleaning up at the end of the day, they are berserk. 
just like a, a narcissist. If there's any um, responsibility or if there's any time constraints or stressors, it all goes to shit. So I just thought it was interesting and... Um, long day at work. <laughs> so please like, and subscribe, uh, comment below on some of the things that you've known, the, just the t uh, like bullying with people or touching um, when you shouldn't touch without permission. Um, that's why sometimes with uh, sexual things too, you got to be careful where narcissists feel entitled to push their luck with things. It's a game to them. And please like, and subscribe. One-on-ones are available. Topic requests are always helpful and I'll see you in the next video.